Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. We have some very exciting news this week and I'll let Ross tell you all about it. Thank you Raz. Well the exciting news is, we're very pleased about this, is that jollyantiques.co.uk uh, has merged with the Antique Storehouse, uh, which was formerly based in the Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. Uh, the new company is called sallyantiques.co.uk, the names will change on the website automatically, uh, and the new shop is at Portsmouth High Street, formerly the Sallyport Hotel, four floors of antiques, collectibles and militaria. Um, so yeah, hope to see you there. And we can promise you that uh, later on we'll come back with a very interesting documentary about the Sallyport because it's a historical location. But till then, please give us a like, a share and subscribe to our channel. And um, now we will present you one of our regular episodes. Hello, old chap. Hi, yeah. Is this your lighthouse? This is yes. This is my lighthouse. I built this lighthouse. Oh, took me four years. Jeepers. I, I selected the stones. I selected the timber to make it with. Um, built that with my two bare hands on my own. I put the light in the top, commissioned it, got it running, and I man it. Oh, we've saved a lot of ships. Well done. What about the yellow one on the yellow jetty? The other one, yeah. I, I built that too. Took a bit longer because it's a bit taller. Five years. Selected the stones. Did the carpentry. Installed the latest technology, um, fantastic. I love both these lighthouses. Yeah, they probably know you uh, around these parts. This is Ross the Lighthouse Builder, don't oh, they? Ross the Lighthouse Keeper, I'd love to be called that, but you make love to one sheep. Hello Ross. Hi Ross. What do we have here today? Well today, we're not just going to talk about these beautiful old ship's lights which we have around us, um, but specifically the lenses in them which revolutionised safety at sea back in the 1800s. We have to go back to the evolution of lighthouses to start to help mariners navigate and avoid rocks, shallows and dangerous waters. The lighthouse system consisted of bonfires on cliffs or hills back in those days and they were obviously in high places for visibility as the average distance a man can see was three miles due to the curvature of the earth. With the development of steady and bright illumination, the application of optical lenses to intensify and focus the light became a practical possibility. The earliest rudimentary system was developed in 1763 by William Hutchinson and was known as the catoptric system. Uh, it used mirrors to concentrate the light into a beam uh, and this led to the first revolving signal lighthouses with the ability to send signals. Now, it was around the same era that scientists began researching and grinding lenses um, out of glass. And then eventually in the early 1800s, a Frenchman called Jean-Augustine Fresnel invented his new lens. Now known as the Fresnel lens, which was a multi-part lens at the time, it was first used in the Cordouan lighthouse at the mouth of the Gironde estuary and this light could be seen from 20 miles away. This is the Fresnel effect here. Um, this was four times the luminosity of any lighthouses at the time, and these lenses are still in use worldwide today, not only in lighthouses, but many other maritime and aviation applications. Uh, this lens has been called the lens that saved a million ships. Jean-Augustine Fresnel was born in 1788 and died in 1827 at the age of only 39, after suffering with tuberculosis for most of his life. Thank you all for watching as well. Please like, share and subscribe. Also, remember that you can interact with us on our social media channels and you can buy these items on our website. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Cheerio.